I'm Sue Dorn and a proud board member of JWA. I'm thrilled to be here and I've decided this morning that rather than be a troublemaker with a small T, I think I'd like to work towards being a troublemaker with a capital T. And I think other people in the room would join me in that. Recently, we watched news broadcasts showing the devastation and destruction caused by the many tornadoes which ravaged parts of the Midwest and the South. Heartbreaking stories were told of loss. One survivor was shown digging, digging in the ruins with his hands where his house once stood. He told the reporter that he was searching for remnants of any family photographs. I was reminded of a tragic experience of an acquaintance of mine years ago. She and her husband were on a trip when they received word that workmen had caused an electrical fire in their home. Sorry. I apologize. Okay. Weeks after, I'm sorry, weeks after she told me that it wasn't the loss of a major painting by Picasso, but the loss of her family photographs that she most regretted. In both those cases, it was the actual pictures or the memories and the stories that were brought to mind when they viewed those pictures. Have you ever opened an album or a box of photographs left by a family member only discover that many of the people were unknown to you and wondered who they were and what were their stories. For too long, the history of American Jewish women, their stories, struggles, and achievements were like those unnamed pictures. Fortunately for us, our children, and our children's children, the Jewish Women's Archive was founded in 1995 to tell that rich story. When the story is told, it is not forgotten. In your program, there is supplemental material prepared by the staff of JWA for the core exhibit here at the museum. You may have visited the museum previously and gain some knowledge. But with this addition, we hope your experience will be further enriched. I would be remiss if I didn't recall an incident that I overheard in the Emma Lazarus exhibit, which illustrates the importance of JWA's mission. A young teenage girl was walking through the exhibit a couple of weeks ago with her parents and remarked, oh, I know all about Emma Lazarus. And then a few minutes later, she exclaimed, I never knew she was Jewish. <laughs> they never taught me that in school. Well, I watched her body language become more positive, and she became much more engaged in viewing the exhibit. How can we expect that young woman and others like her to take pride in their legacy if they don't know it. She exemplifies why the work of JWA is so important, and maybe even more important today than any other time in the history of Jews in America. As our country becomes more cult multicultural, the need to know our heritage and the role that women have played and are playing is greater or it will be lost. You understand this need or you wouldn't be at this luncheon today. On behalf of the board and the staff of JWA, I thank you for your presence. But I ask more of you. In fact, if you're so inclined, you'll see some envelopes on the table and we would be delighted to have you fill one out. Anyone with one of these buttons on would be happy to accept your contribution. Thank you for helping JWA uncover, chronicle, and transmit to a broad public 
the rich history of American Jewish women. You are the best. <laughs>